Well, here's the over-engineered rail system and um, this is the piece of track, PVC track. Uh, it's really an end cap, but I figured this has a really nice V-shaped um, groove. And so I might even be able to get away by just using two of these. Now look at how flexible they are. So this is the old design, of course. It uses um, very rigid uh, stainless steel rods. They're fairly lightweight, but it's still a little sizable and, and much heavier weight than this. Now look at this, this is really flexible. It does have a, a nice V-rail groove. And so my thought is, and on the other side it has kind of a half dome. You'll be able to see it has kind of a half, um, uh, almost a circular shape. So it really fits nice and snug onto these rails. So one of two solutions, either uh, I'm going to use the second rod, the, one, the first rod for the tracking and the second rod for just the guidance and fix this piece of PVC plasticky thing on top of that. Of course I have to cut it to length here and then that'll be my V-groove to provide the linear or alternatively I can just use two of these and just put them flat on the on the ground and the um, and the tracker can run itself, one on the left, one on the right. So let me uh, cut this to length, two equal uh, pieces, and then uh, I'm going to experiment to see what we can do with, uh, with those PVC rails. So I already uh, measured this to half length, and of course, as you would do in uh, any shop, we operate at the highest level of craftsmanship. So here's my attempt to make it a square cut. And I'm just going to use this jigsaw to cut it to length. This is a very sophisticated operation, as you can see. A really high skill level required. But not to worry, we have some uh, qualified workmanship in the shop here. And how about that? That's about as even as you'll get. Either way, that'll work, so let's put it to test. So, check this out. The diameter of this curtain rod is exactly the same as the diameter of this U-shaped groove. So what do you know? This fits perfectly snug on that. So what I'm going to what I'm thinking is if I just secure this piece of plastic guard onto the onto the curtain rod then we should have a nice fit and of course here goes my hairband that's a real marvel of engineering as you can see works perfectly for this application uh, on the one side and on the other side we're going to do the same. So how's that for a portable solution? Um, the hairband, curtain rod, and there is your slider rail. One side is secured by this hairband and the other side is secured by that. Now this will rest by itself because it forms this angle so it's self-supporting it as a tri kind of a triangular shape actually let me get that it has a triangular shape you can see and when it rests even on a flat surface then this V grove groove is kind of angled a little bit to the inside which is exactly what I want because when we're gonna bring our tracker its wheels has to be guided inside of that groove. So how about that? Hopefully it's not going to go out of the groove because we'll have one on each side. And this is the driver and it should run fairly nicely just staying inside of that groove. So the plan is to have the one side of the the one side of the linear guide is going to be that and then the mirror of that on the other side kind of something like that 
but I have to prop it up with the other pole. And there you go. So this will be the slider with the two V-slots v, uh, v that'll guide it along the way. And let's see if that actually will work as, uh, as designed. Let me turn it this way. You can, you guys can actually see the, see the instrument lights. The instrumentation is obviously key to what we're doing here. And I'll set the speed to the lowest speed. So here it goes. And now, if everything goes according to plan, it'll run. It'll remain in the track. Put it that way. Without running out of the track, this one is kind of. Well, see there, that's possible as well. So what's going to happen, have to happen here is I'll have to loosen up the... Um, these wheels are really tight. You have to kind of apply force. But if I loosen it up a little bit, there's an Allen key on the bottom. If I loosen it up a little bit, then these are free, free almost like uh, castering wheels. And then we should be able to overcome this issue of it wanting to go where it wants to go. But that's kind of neat. It almost looks like this can be a solution. Now, of course, it also has to do with how you align the wheels. Now I seem to have lined it up neatly and it kind of goes in a straight line. But this is a much better solution than trying it just on the rails because at this point it's not it's not losing its track it's not lo climbing out of the track pretty cool huh